Making the Fall Vibes Blanket. Oh, I love this blanket. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my Fall Vibes blanket. And there's so much I love about this blanket, from how thick it is, the texture, the colors, the pattern. It's just an amazing blanket. It also keeps you extremely warm and works up really, really fast, which is great. I can't wait to share with you how to make this. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, you like what's going on, please push that thumbs up button. It's just like a big high five and it tells YouTube this is a good video to watch. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun giveaways, and you are not going to want to miss out. All right, so the pattern for this Fall Vibes blanket can be located in both the description section and the comment section below this video. All you have to do is click on that link, purchase the pattern, and be ready to crochet with me. The only reason why you would need the pattern specifically is to know how many rows are in each section and when I do a color change. Other than that, I'm going to be showing you how to do the actual pattern in the video today. And I'm also going to show you how I color change in the video today. So if you wanna be in control of your own rows and your own changes, you don't necessarily need the pattern, but if you wanna know exactly when I change my colors and how many rows are in each section, you're gonna want the pattern, okay? All right, once you are ready, have the pattern, or you're just ready to dive right in, let's go ahead and check out what materials I used to make this Fall Vibes blanket. The materials that you're going to need for your Fall Vibes blanket will include a size five weight, bulky, chunky yarn. I used approximately 1,644 yards of yarn or 1,500 meters of yarn, 52.8 ounces of yarn or 1,500 grams of yarn. So depending on where you live in the world, that's exactly how much yarn that I used to complete the entire blanket. This skein of yarn is two of wands, Hugh and me, I loved this yarn, utilizing this yarn. It is 80% acrylic, 20% wool, but of course you can use whatever you want as long as it is that size five bulky chunky size, okay? I used 12 skeins of this yarn. There were six different colors, so two skeins per color for this particular blanket. I did notice that each skein did vary in how much yarn was in that skein. Some colors I was able to finish the entire section with a little bit of yarn left over, whereas other colors I was not able to complete the last row of the section. So what I would do is I would just take the next color and finish the row out and then just dive right into the next color section, okay? So just if that happens to you, it happened to me, wanted to prepare you, that could happen, right? The crochet hook that we use is a size N15 or a 10 millimeter crochet hook. I really liked using this big bulky crochet hook with the size five weight yarn because it allowed the blanket to be very soft and drapey and cuddly need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle or tapestry needle to weave in the ends at the end of the project. There are going to be a lot of ends, but that is okay. I will include links to everything you see here in both the description section and comment section below this video. So if there's anything here that you would really like to get your hands on, all you have to do is click on that link, purchase the item, and it'll come straight to you. Uh, they are affiliated links where the company will give me a little bit of a thank you kickback, just supports my channel if you purchase anything off there. So big thank you ahead of time for doing that. I really appreciate the support to my channel. All right, once you have everything you need to make your Fall Vibes blanket, let's go ahead and dive right into actually making it. The Fall Vibes blanket that I created measures 50 inches wide by 60 inches long. What I'm gonna be showing you in this tutorial is a small swatch example of the pattern I used in this blanket. And then you can take that swatch and adjust it to meet any dimensions of any blanket that you want to make. So if you want to make a different size blanket than what I made, feel free to take this pattern and adjust the dimensions 
to whatever size blanket that you want. I did actually create a video that I'll put here at the top of the screen where it shows you how to take any pattern and manipulate it to meeting any blanket dimensions or any dimensions. It's a really cool, very empowering video. So if you are interested in making this blanket in any other size than what I did, feel free to check out that video to show you how to do that. All right, so for this particular pattern, I used a three double crochet shell stitch pattern. It's super simple, very beginner friendly, and I think you'll love it. So starting with a tail long enough for us to weave in our ends, create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, and we are ready to go. So the three double crochet shell stitch pattern is worked in a multiple of four. So if you want to adjust this pattern, just make your foundation row in a multiple of four, okay? For the blanket that I made, I worked 100 chains, but for the swatch here, I'm just gonna work up 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, 19 and 20. Perfect. All right, we are ready for row one. For row one, we will double crochet in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. So looking at our V-stitches, not the loop on our crochet hook. V-stitch one, two, three, four. Yarn over, double crochet. Great, that skipped three chains does count as your first double crochet stitch. Then we're going to skip one chain and single crochet in the next chain. and then skip one chain and make three double crochet stitches in the following chain. One, two, three. And then that is the repeat pattern. Skip a chain, single crochet, skip a chain, three double crochets. Repeat this pattern all the way across row one, and I will meet you at the end of row one to show you how we get onto row two. At the end of row one, we will skip a chain, and in that very last chain, we will make two double crochet stitches. One, Two, great. We only make two double crochet stitches in the first and last stitch to keep the sides straight. All right, let's move on to row two. For row two, we will chain one. We will turn our work. Now for row two, we will single crochet in the very first stitch space. One, then we will skip a stitch Finding that single crochet stitch, we will make three double crochet stitches in that single crochet stitch. One, two, three, perfect. Then skip a stitch and single crochet in the next stitch. That will also be the top of that second or middle double crochet stitch right there then skip a stitch, look for that single crochet stitch, and make three double crochet stitches into that single crochet stitch. One, two, three, great, then skip a stitch, single crochet. And that is the repeat pattern for row two. You will skip a stitch, in each single crochet stitch, you will make three double crochets, then you'll skip a stitch, and in that middle double crochet stitch, you will single crochet on top. All right, go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way across for row two, and I will meet you at the end of row two to show you how we move on to row three. 
All right, at the end of row two, we will skip that first double crochet stitch, look for that chain three, and we're going to single crochet in that top chain or that third chain there. Single crochet to end row two. Perfect, let's move on to row three. For row three, we will chain three. One, two, three turn our work. That chain three does count as our very first double crochet stitch. We will make one double crochet stitch in that first stitch space. One. Then we will skip a stitch and single crochet in the next stitch, which is also that middle or second double crochet stitch of the shell below. Then we will skip a stitch Look for the next single crochet stitch and make three double crochet stitches in that single crochet stitch. Sound familiar? <laughs> and that is the repeat pattern for row three, where all we are doing is skipping a stitch, then single crochet in that second or middle double crochet stitch of the shell below and then skipping a stitch and making three double crochet stitches into that single crochet stitch. One, two, three. And that is the pattern for the three double crochet shell stitch. You just repeat row two, row three, over and over again until you have finished the project. So the pattern itself is pretty easy. The only thing that we are doing in this particular blanket is changing the colors, and we are changing the colors at the end of rows, making clean transitions between colors. We are controlling our color change. So let me get to the end of this row and I will show you how I change my colors. So at the end of row three, we will make two double crochet stitches in that last stitch. And again, we only make two to keep the side straight, okay? And then if you're ready to change color, we would grab our scissors, cut a tail that's only three, four inches long. You don't want too overly excessive because we only have so much yarn to complete this blanket. And if you cut way too much yarn, you will not have enough yarn of that color to complete that section of the pattern. Okay, so just be very cautious with that. We want to Make sure we're not making our tails too long here. All right, so once we have tied off our work, which all I did was we or yarn over my tail and pull it through the loop on my crochet hook and then pulled tight for that slip knot, then we will take our work, making sure that the tail is on the same side that we plan on beginning the next row. Take your next color, and I'm choosing this color because it's easy to identify the change. Starting with a tail that's about three, four inches long, creating your slip knot, attaching your crochet hook. Great. Now, first we want to attach the yarn to the project. So I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the very first stitch space. Then I'm gonna take my new color, yarn over, pull that color through, and I'm going to slip stitch. So I'm gonna pull that loop or that yarn through the loop that's already on my crochet hook for a slip stitch, and that attaches the yarn to the project. And I have one loop on my crochet hook. We are on a row two repeat. So I'm gonna chain one, single crochet into the first stitch space, then skip the next stitch, look for the single crochet stitch and make three double crochet stitches in that single crochet stitch. Two, three, perfect. Now, if you switched your color, 
on an end that ended with, let's say you're ready to start a row three repeat, okay? So you would take your new color, you would slip stitch into the very first stitch space, and that just joins the yarn to your project, and then you would chain three like it indicates, and then you would continue working the pattern, which would be double crochet in the first stitch. And that's if you were attaching on a row three repeat, okay? All right, so that is how I switch my colors in the project. I just make a very clean cut off the yarn, attach new yarn transition on the sides of my work. And then when the blanket is all done, I will bring out my yarn needle tapestry needle and I will weave in my ends color to color. That way it camouflages and you cannot see that end in the rest of the blanket. You definitely don't want to weave one color into another color because that would be an eyesore, big faux pas, big no-no. All right, okay, so that is how we do the pattern. That is how I do a color change. If you are interested in the pattern color change that I used for my exact blanket, I have that located in the pattern that you can find by clicking the link in the comment section and description section below this video. I will also show you a picture right here if you would like to just look at the picture, stare at that for a while, see if you can figure out when I do my color changes. But again, if you want to know the exact number of rows that I used for each color, you need the pattern, okay? Other than that, I think you can figure it out. I think this is super simple for you. It's beginner friendly. I hope you have a lot of fun and I hope you love your blanket. All right, so what did you think of the pattern? Pretty easy, right? Just repeating row two, row three, row two, row three. If you are interested at all in having a flat top on the top of your blanket, for example, you want to put a border around this blanket. You absolutely can. I did not. I did. I kept it without a border because I liked it without. But if you want to put a border around this blanket and you really want the top row of your blanket to be flat to help you with that border, you're going to want to check out this video I did. I'm going to put a link right here at the top of the screen where I go over how to do the three double crochet shell stitch pattern. And in that tutorial, I go over what your last potential row could look like if you want that flat top. It's helpful, especially if you want to put a border. So this is my blanket. I hope you had fun making it. I hope you enjoyed the pattern. I hope the color changes worked out great for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below this video. I hope that you had fun. I love crocheting with you. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.